Howdy. Let's start off with a Baltic sea quake, zero kilometers in depth, Finland proper, <laughs> whatever that means. It is the largest archipelago. What is it, the word? Archipelago. Archipel? Something like that in the world. This region here. There's stuff going on all the time. But someone mentioned the Ampere Seamount, which I think is this one here. There is quake activity around there and especially at the northern part of it. 4.8, a rather deep one, 36 kilometers. There's even a user report. And these are quakes from seven days. Now I've been making videos about these mountain ranges beneath the sea level. And one very good source to uh, check out what's beneath the surface of the oceans is the National Data Buoy Center. So let's check out uh, the region offshore of Portugal, northern of La Palma, the Canary Islands. Where are we? That's I think here is the Empire. Yes, it was the one beside it. 96 meters beneath the surface. The one which is next to it, closer to the Mediterranean, Coral Patch Bank, looks also very interesting. And there are other interesting sea mounts in the region because uh, they have very interesting names unicorn bank 732 meters beneath the sea level we have the lion bank and the dragon bank and if you look close you probably will notice this kind of indentations indentations and uh, yeah i was thinking maybe i should read what's about the empire ampere sea mount and i found something very interesting that's a link i found from wikipedia alternative information in the mainstream world jp robinson Never heard of this guy. Finding Atlantis underwater anomalies. So there is a whole lot of text to be read. The fabled Atlantis cited in Plato's Critias and Timaeus dialogues continues to hold this mythical mythological status. The reason for this is a distinct lack of physical evidence to reinforce any notion of its historical reality. There are many location hypotheses still being bandied around today, but taking Plato's account literally. A mid-Atlantic location beyond the Straits of Gibraltar would seem the most logical choice. The remnants of the mythical isles may possibly be revealed by the presence of the Azores and maybe the Canaries nearer mainland Spain, stretching across the sea to the Bahamas and even potentially Cuba. The hot springs mentioned by Plato could well prove to be those seen in the Valle de Furnas near San São Miguel in the Azores. According to author Jalis Berlitz, it is still the current belief among the Portuguese that Atlantis, Atlantida, once existed near Portugal, and remnants of the fabled continent can be seen in the Azores island, whose presence is visible as only the peaks of the former land. 
This idea of the Azores being the rem remains of at least part of the Atlantic Empire is not an isolated one. Deep under the wa ocean's waters, Atlantis is now reposing and only its highest summits are still vis visible in the shape of the Azores. The great island rose in steep cliffs from the sea. Its cold and hot springs described by the ancient authors are still there as they flowed many millions, millenniums ago. The mountain lakes of Atlantis have been transformed now into submerged ones. If we follow exactly Plato's indications and seek the site of Poseidon is among the half-submerged summits of the Azores, we will find it to the south of the Dola Barata, there upon an eminence in the middle age, in the middle of a large, not middle age, <laughs> in the middle of a large and comparatively straight valley, well protected from the winds, stood its splendid capital, the city of the Golden Gates. It is strange that these scientists have sought Atlantis everywhere, but have given the least attention to this spot, which, after all, was clearly indicated by Plato. In March 1974, the Russian vessel academician Petrovsky underwent an expedition to examine the Empire and Josephine Sea Mounts southwest of the Azores. The sea mounts or underwater mountains rise from a depth of 10,000 feet or more to a summit which reaches several hundred feet below the surface. Underwater photographs taken during the expedition revealed a stone wall which included cut stone blocks scattered on both sides which may represent evidence of buildings on the ocean floor in the precise area indicated by Plato as the location of Atlantis. What appeared to be artificial steps partially covered with lava were photographed on the flat summit of the Empire Sayi Mount, which led Soviet scientist Professor Aksionov to proclaim in my opinion, these structures once stood on the surface. Frank Joseph believes that this underwater region seems to fit Plato's description very well, unlike any other site on Earth. The Horseshoe Sea Mounts fit the basic criteria for Atlantis set out in Plato's two dialogues. They compromise a high ring of sea mountains lying outside the Straits of Gibraltar. The foremost peak, Mount Ampere, stands to the south. The same position assumed by Mount Atlas. Mount Ampere stood above sea level as an island until it collapsed beneath the surface within the past 10,000 years. So we are back to the sun cycles again. The bones of numerous elephants have been dredged up, up from the area, corroborating Plato's observation that these creatures inhabited the island of Atlantis. Remarkably, a NOAA, no National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, underwater Underwater image above has revealed the presence of what has been described as a canal system measuring approximately 165 kilometers east to west and 120 to the north. This anomalous discovery is located to the east of the Madeira Abyssal Plain, 1750 kilometers west southwest of the Strait of Gibraltar near the Canary Islands, 750 kilometers south of the Azores, and 6050. 650 km nearly to the west of Madeira. Let's go over to Google Earth. It is somewhere here. Yeah, I know he was talking about Noah, but we will go back to Noah shortly. Here. This is what you can see on Google Earth. There is like sea mounts there all over the place. So 
So it's not that well visible on Google Earth. And this might continue, you know, wherever. But anyway, let's go over to NOAA. NOAA, National Data Buoy Center, National Oceanic Ocean Atmospheric Administration. Monaco Deep, Madeira Abyssal Plain. I took screenshots of that. That's a screenshot and I try to a little bit enhance. But it's not that well possible. You can somehow see a little bit, little bit more better the structure of the thing. And I measured it as well. It's approximately 170 kilometers. So it's rather big. It would be yeah, quite a big city, I think, even nowadays. So thank you for providing me inspiration to check out the Ampere C mount. And I ended up with this kind of thing. Some possible Atlantis story there might be hundreds if not thousands of atlantises from the past no one ever heard about probably every time when earth grows the amount of water just increases because this is what earth does until it doesn't it it doesn't do it anymore. There might be this kind of critical point where it's not possible anymore, but I don't know. Every 12,000 years or so, Earth grows a bit and also it creates more water due to its bigger size. Maybe after the next cycle, there's so much water, there is not too much land anymore. Who knows? But Canary Islands volcanic activity some possible atlantis barely visible on google earth which is somewhere here which also would be in a rather straight line from the Strait of Gibraltar. And if Plata was Greek, Greek dude, he lived here, so he probably saw it in the evening. He watched Atlantis after the news ended. I don't know. Greece, can we zoom in what happened? Here is Greece, and you go straight, somewhat straight. Yeah, we would end up here somewhere. And here somewhere is also this structure I just showed you. There are many more of these kind of structures on the seafloor of coasts. Here it is. Ta -da. <laughs> Found it. It's really easy to find if you just somehow. La Palma. And here is something. Straight line. Here you have it. Everything blurred out. <laughs> Huge volcanoes no one is talking about. High plateaus and all kinds of things.
We aren't the first ones to roam this earth. Earth. We aren't the last ones. But anyway, so much about Atlantis dragons, lions and stuff. Thanks. Bye.